Oh, now suddenly, don't you feel like we're sitting with the coolest girl like in you. school? Yeah. Oh. Still the coolest girl. I wasn't girl. the coolest girl in school. Oh, I can't believe that for a moment. You well, must have taken my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you I'm not, not much of a liar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are. <laughs> How does it feel when you look at your work flashing before your eyes like that? Is it something you, you, you like to sit down and look at? I, I, I don't normally sit down and look at myself, but um, sometimes I, I think it's, oh, that, gee, that's okay. And I'll, oh, that's how they go, oh, sh how did I do that? Oh. What possessed me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose we all do that. But uh, as yeah. well as, as people loving the old stuff, you you guys uh, as a band, as collect as a collective, have never stopped making new music. And there's a new album out now, uh, which is called Panic the Girls. Panic of Girls. Panic of Girls. Mm. What does that mean? Well, we uh, just wanted a line that rhymed in a song called "The End, The End" or "The End of the World," and um, it uh, sort of worked. It, you know, it's a complicated lyric. It was a storyline about a uh, sort of, you know, psychotic person in, you know, in the streets yelling about the end of the world. And um, so it seemed right at the time, but now we're stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things like that in life, aren't yeah. there? <laughs> yeah. Is it, is, it, is it, is the album, the new album, the sound that we're familiar with, the Blondie sound, or is it a, it's, it's the kind of music we'll be, we, we're used to hearing from you guys? Or? I think so, because, you know, uh, we're sort of who we are. You know, Chris has a sound a style of playing, Clem has a, a style of playing, and, uh, you, of course, you know, you recognise the voice. Yeah. So there are those elements, but I think also we've, you know, tried to bring it into today's world, and um, so it's a good combination, so I let's think. Let's have a little listen. This is the debut um, single. It's out now. It's called Mother. <laughs> <laughs> now, many, um, many people have uh, hopefully kind of tried to, to fudge a meaning into this, that this is a song about your long-lost birth mother. But actually, <laughs> it's, it's, far, uh, it's far, far more up-to-date than that. It's about a nightclub that you used to frequent, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's about a little club where it, it only was on on Tuesday nights. It was a theme club, and we used to all dress up, and there would be a theme night. And, and uh, the uh, owners, or the people that started the club, uh, Chichi Valente and Johnny Dinell, um, you know, we're very creative people and we just all go for it and dress up like mad and there were little comedy acts and naughty acts and things like that. So uh, it was very entertaining and there was a, a room for dancing and there was a room for conversation, which I think is really great oh, for yeah. a club mm. to have mm. a room for conversation because otherwise you're just shouting at the uh, other yeah. person, you know. Um, and a room for naughty things, And then there? the downstairs room was for naughty things. <laughs> 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 A room for talking. How do you keep that purity in your, your voice? voice? Amazing. Because yeah. you know, by nature of the beast, you'd be in clubs. You'd be, and I find you know, well, you can hear mine. But how do you keep it so pure? Do you, do you just not talk in clubs and loud places, or well, I, you know, I do my fair share of shouting, but um, we lower the key. <laughs> it doesn't sound like that to me. It sounds like your voice has got stronger. Yeah, it does. Actually, I've been practicing. Yeah. Yeah, I've had some practice, and um, I got to a point where I was interested in studying and learning, you know, le really learning how to do it mm. instead of just sort of fudging along. I suppose if you're touring, you need to sustain it, don't you? You need to keep protect it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, pr I do protect it. Yeah. Debbie, obviously, you, you know, you had a sort of rock star life, which I imagine that you enjoyed to the full, or at least I hope you did. Did you hear us talking before about the link between sex and religion? What are your views on that? Ooh. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Uh, well, you know, I, I sort of... I think having faith is an important thing. Mm -hmm. But I, I also think having faith in yourself is the real ultimate. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, throwing your faith away to something that may or may not exist is, uh, you know, a lack of responsibility. And so I think that, you know, once you really take responsibility for your life and, you know, who you are, that's, uh, you know, the ultimate, really the best thing. Yeah. Mm. cryptic. Can you see it? Can that? Yes. Can I just quickly ask you as well? Denis Denis, one of my favourite songs, but because I'm called Denise, all my life people have sung that to me in, in, in clubs as if nobody's ever said that before. Just quickly, <laughs> well, who, who was that about? Was that about anybody in your life? Yeah, you know, uh, it was a song originally recorded uh, by Randy and the Rainbows. And um, oddly enough, there was a time when uh, 
we had a whole bunch of memorabilia and posters that uh, a young man came to us and said, oh, I want to buy all these things. And then he, he, you know, he reproduced them and he wanted me to sign like 500 of them. It turned out that his wife was uh, one of the Lefracs and Denise was Denise Lefrac. So, it, you know, oh, it's a, just a Denise small then? little world. Yeah, yeah, there was a real Denise. 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 Real Denise, yeah. Well, the new album is out now. It's uh, available in a special uh, collector's edition which is distributed not uh, through the usual methods, is it? People can find it where? Well, I, I think they can find it at HMV and probably on newsstands, which yeah. is a little bit different. Supermarkets, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a supermarkets, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, good luck with that. Thank we you. could talk to you forever. Thank you so much for finding the time uh, to spend with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Debbie Harris. <laughs> Corey Killer John Stake, we'll see you in three.